Of course, we went there initially to be able to deal with Guyana's inaugural hosting of the International Energy Conference as they are now a global player in energy. And at the conference was the Secretary General of OPEC, the Chairman of ExxonMobil and a whole host of global players because of the literal um, bounty that they have had with respect to oil and gas. But the conference didn't only deal with that, it looked also at the whole issue of renewable energy. And most importantly, we were able to contextualize what we as developing nations have done. Um, the truth is that when we hear net zero all the time, people assume that net zero means zero fossil fuel. In truth and in fact, it doesn't. And even at the point of 2050 and net zero, the world anticipates that there will at least be 20 to 25 percent use of fossil fuels. The question is, who should that be? Who should be providing those fossil fuels? Is it only the existing suppliers who have been doing it, or do you have emerging players like Ghana and others, and even our own case, Barbados? Um, are we in a position to be able to benefit from it? So those are some of the difficult and complex discussions that we um, put on the table that need to be resolved. Um, but separate from that, as you know, we would also have engaged in bilateral and trilateral discussions, bilateral with Guyana and Suriname, and trilateral Barbados, Guyana and Suriname, um, to ensure that we can continue to do the things that will boost our economy and equally make life easier for our people. And what are some of those things? The question of food prices continues to be something that causes all of us angst. And therefore, if we can reduce the price of food, particularly healthy food, then we believe that we can add serious value. And of course, Guyana and Suriname have much uh, more land than we do, and they all have um, access to fresh water. So we are talking about not only training, expanded production, both in crop and livestock, um, and then using Barbados as a logistics hub in order to be able to supply not just the Barbados market, but other markets regionally and internationally. Um, similarly, we were able to have discussions with their manufacturers. And in fact, I'm happy to report that there will be a group of Guyanese manufacturers coming here early in April um, and looking at a range of products, including prefab housing. We looked at the whole issue of access to timber. We looked at the issue of, um, and have been discussing um, seriously, the question of combined training. There are some areas in which Ghana's training um, will be what we need in the area of welding and joinery, etc. And there are other areas in hospitality where we can provide significant opportunities. They want 6,000 hospitality workers trained and we have already started the process of providing for that. Separate from that, with respect to tourism, we believe that there are opportunities for co-branding, particularly in Europe, where there is one, um, an appetite for ecotourism as well as beach tourism still. But secondly, where people have typically longer vacations and therefore the opportunity to, to visit two destinations in a trip um, is not something that is out of, out of their, their range. Um, we also looked at the whole issue of international transport, in particular the whole issue of logistics for the movement of cargo that continues to bedevil this Caribbean region and Suriname, um, there are some Surinamese players now that have invested in both air cargo and also um, maritime um, assets for cargo and we are looking to see how we can continue to boost that. Barbados has some issues as it relates to sand, Guyana and Suriname both want limestone so that there are opportunities to be able to boost the market for the cargo vessels um, as we go forward. In addition to that, we discussed the question of how do we get the whole issue of reducing the cost of air travel between our countries because once people start moving, they're going to find the opportunities that governments haven't even thought about. And I believe that that therefore is also going to be one of the things you'll see significant progress on over the course of the next few weeks. With respect to the issue of security, um, we confirmed Ghana will be coming on as a member of the regional security system. That is a significant impetus um, for us in the Southern Caribbean. Ghana's military is long established and is well equipped and therefore the ability to have another anchor in the regional security system. The ability to have another anchor within the regional security system is something that will enhance the ability of the RSS not only to respond to national security issues,
but in particular as we get ready to go into the hurricane season, um, again, natural disaster, um, natural disaster events that may take place in the region. Ironically, I'm told that here in Barbados we had a little weather incident last night that knocked out power in a number of parishes, particularly those on the East Coast. And that in Trinidad, I'm being told too that they also had a, a, a significant displacement of power as a result of those similar events. And when we talk about the climate crisis, these are the things that we are clearly referring to. Um, in the issue of mining and quarrying, I spoke just now about sand, their need also for limestone. And in the case of um, Guyana and Suriname, both in fact now take cement from Barbados um, periodically, and, and, and we expect that will continue. The truth is that over the course of the next few weeks, you're going to be hearing a lot more from us on the initiatives taken between Barbados, Guyana, and Suriname. Um, there are other matters that we discussed of mutual benefit um, to, to us, and I look forward to being able to welcome Guyanese businessmen up here. There was a significant contingent of Barbadian businessmen who went down with us, and they too have reported that the talks and, 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 and discussions went exceedingly well for them, and they anticipate that the future can be bright in terms of a renewal of this relationship, particularly in the post-COVID environment um, where everyone is looking for new opportunities to be able to build back up the volume of economic activity that obviously was displaced over the course of the last two years.